my channel today I am doing a video on this look right here and I'm going to be using the bad habit solstice palettes and this is um you can get this on the app hush and look how cute it is this matches my new background and I'm also using a new concealer so in order to know what that concealer is you have to check out the video if you want to see this tutorial then subscribe and keep watching so I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to just powder my face before foundation put this everywhere I did this only one time before and I can't even, re it was like a while ago and I can't even remember if I liked it or not. So I just wanna try it today because I need my makeup to last all day. So we gonna see if this really works for me. by bad habit that I got from the hush app and this is what the box looks like this is the solstice 15 color eyeshadow collection palette I also have that I'm not I'm not going to use this one today but I just want to show you what the box looks like this is supernova 15 color eyeshadow collection palette and these are dupes for the Natasha Denona palettes so let me just show you what the Supernova looks like. And I have used both these before. And it comes with the mirror. Really cute packaging. Doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels like it is sturdy. And this is the Solstice. The Solstice palette. The one I'm going to be using today. Really cute, also. So, I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is called Earth. And I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. I'm going to tell you guys that I do like these palettes, they're, they're decent quality. For the price i think i only paid 12 dollars. well i got them in a bundle and i think it was 24 dollars for the bundle there is um kickback when you dip your brush into the palette and i mean i'm dipping it like that i'm not swirling it around and like i said there is kickback but look these shadows are very pigmented for $12. I got a couple other palettes from there too. And I want to get a couple more and maybe compare the dupe to the high-end version of what the palette is supposed to be like. Okay, so I want to swatch, let's see, Twilight Soul Dawn, Twilight Soul Dawn and Rays. So it's this one, this one, and then these two. I'm just going to swatch these really quickly on my hand just because I do want you guys to see what it looks like swatched so this is twilight this is so dawn and then we have rays gonna put that right here i don't know if you 
be on this pink today. Yeah, I don't know if the light is a little too bright. But they are a little powdery on the, my hand, like on the back of my hand. I can do like, and then like, I see a little bit come off. But, oh, and it's all over my shirt now. <laughs> But the color payoff for the price, if you don't mind, then hey, why not go for it? Now I'm gonna go um into this reddish color, it's called Basque. And I'm gonna put that right here. And I'm just gonna put that in my crease also, kind of up under the brown color that I put. And you guys can see kind of how they layer and blend into each other. Oh, and I got a bunch of fallout. All right, we'll clean that up with concealer. And they're show up, they show up really good on my skin tone, so I love that. Hate colors that don't show up on dark skin. I'm going to take the color twilight and I'm going to use my finger to put it on this eye and I'm going to use a brush to put it on this eye so you can kind of see the difference and kind of see what works best. So, look at that. Look how freaking pigmented that is. little fall out underneath which is expected and like I said I don't mind a little now I'm going to take my brush and apply the same color to my left eye and this is a dry brush and there is not much color payoff at all see this eye compared to this eye big difference so I'm going to wet my brush and then let's see where we go with that this is the brush wet and boom look at that The shadows look more foiled when the brush is wet. So if you like the foiled look, I suggest wetting your brush and then putting the shimmer shadows on. If you don't, then just go ahead and I suggest using your finger. So I'm gonna take that first brush that I used this blend everything blended out pretty good there was a lot of fallout underneath my eye right here there's a lot of glitter this eye not so much but this one there's a lot of glitter right here that fell out so if you do get the palette I suggest um, doing your eyes first and then going back so you won't mess your base up 
I'm gonna try to take a little bit more powder and see just a little bit. I think my foundation to cover it up, so I'm not really too worried about that. And I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty foundation in the color 450, and I'm gonna just give it a good shake. <laughs> Two pumps. I take the flat part of my sponge. And with this foundation, I like starting off with one side and then working my way, working my, my way to the other side and then to my forehead because this foundation does dry down pretty fast so we don't want any streaks any type of imperfections in our base so yeah you just start off with one side at a time I'm gonna put one pump on this side <laughs> Never just stop at your jawline. Always go down your neck. just received in the mail I never used them before and these are the color pop concealers I got the color deep 70 and deep golden 60 so I think I'm gonna do just put a little bit of both underneath and like I said I haven't mm, yeah I'll put a little let's see okay so this is deep 70 and I heard that these concealers um, dry down pretty fast so I'm going to try to work quickly and then put deep golden wait yeah deep golden the other one was deep so I'm going to put this right underneath it yeah I didn't know which color to get and I wasn't sure if one was going to be too light so I just decided to get both <laughs> Sometimes I get carried away with concealer, so I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> and just blur this together. Mm -hmm. 
Underneath my eyes, it been blended out pretty good too. I want to see how it layers. So when I blend the second layer out, I'll see if it looks start looking cakey or if it'll still because it's it's covering. It's not. It doesn't look like it's super duper duper thick. But I also don't have like major under eye problems. very smooth and it blended in perfectly with my foundation so now I'm going to take my black opal powder in the color medium and I'm just going to go underneath this is everywhere I highlight it keep the oils at bay throughout the day so now that that's all done I'm going to use my Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the color dark 40 instead of my Laura Mercier to set my foundation and I like um I switched from using my Laura Mercier to set my foundation and this powder because it's darker and I, I noticed with my Laura Mercier powder um, let's just say a foundation wasn't wasn't quite my color let's just say it was a little bit light I realized that the Laura Mercier was um, kind of making it a little lighter because that powder is just a tad bit lighter than my skin tone so this powder it's like a tad bit darker if not um, my skin tone so when I use a foundation that is just maybe a tad bit lighter and not lighter because I want my skin lighter lighter because maybe the foundation doesn't come in that many shades or maybe the undertone is off so it kind of looks maybe a little ashier or a little too cool for my skin tone this powder is more red and it kind of it makes it look a little darker and it makes it look more my skin tone so the Laura Mercier is just a little like I don't know if it's just a tad bit too light or if it's a tad bit ashy on me but either way um I've honestly I've been using that just for um 
what am I trying to say? For when I prime my eyes with concealer, I'll go over with that. And then if I like the technique using my powder before foundation, I'll go ahead and I'll totally use my Laura Mercier powder to um, do that and use it before, before I put foundation on. So, yeah. If you guys are having the same problem, same issues with foundations looking a tad bit too light, just try to get like a darker powder and see how that works out. So far it's been working good for me when I take pictures. My pictures come out looking great. My foundation looks, it matches with everything. My neck, my chest, I don't have any complaints. So, And the powder is actually, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Mmm. Kinda seeing. Feel like I'm, yes, I am. So right here, right here, and right here, it looks patchy, real patchy. And I know it's from the concealer because it never looks patchy right there when I use my when I use my Tarte Shape Tape or my NYX concealer. Um, I'll have to just work with it now, but. I'm going to use that concealer again to make sure that that's what it is. Yeah, because I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell like right here, right here, right here. It looks like it's like missing product. It looks like it's nothing right there. It look, I'm not about to take my makeup off before you do it, but <sighs> that's going to get on my nerves all day just because I know it's there and I can see it. <laughs> That we're just gonna go with the flow. Try to see if I can make it better. Yeah, no, I can still see it. Like, right, like it looks really bad right here. I'm gonna move on. Oh, I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm gonna put top liner and bottom liner and a little bit of mascara on and I'll be right back. So I finished my eyes. Now I'm about to do the rest of my face. I'm going to speed the video up. Um, it's the same routine. I'm using the same products and I'll be back to show you what the finish look will be.
I'm extra glowy because I was heavy handed on the La Peach, but you know what? It's never too much glow, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed this like tutorial and me talking a little bit more than what I usually do in my videos, just gives me a thumb up, um, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel, and see you guys in my next video. Bye.